Hello guys! <laughs> Feels like it's been a long time since we picked up the camera and that's because it's been about a month actually. We've been in the UK for a month. We've been staying on this farm in Skipton in the Yorkshire Dales, the outskirts and we're gonna go for a bit of a walk this morning, hopefully not get caught in the rain and give you a bit of a life update on what we've been up to and what we're planning on doing in the future. Honestly guys, we've been back for a month and the most exciting thing that we've got to tell you is that we work from an office for three days a week now. Um, which is, for us, really boring because it feels like routine that we escaped three years ago and now we're like back in it, back in the thick of it. Buying stuff all the time for our lunch and spending loads of money. Um, but it's honestly the reality of what we've come back in the UK to do, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But that's not a bad thing, right? No, it's not. It's just different for us. But I think it makes it difficult for us to want to pick up the camera uh, because to us, this is just normal. Like yeah. Yorkshire is well home for me and it's familiar. So it's hard to feel inspired. Um, but we know that you guys want to just come along with our lives. So we're, that's all we're trying to pick up the camera today to just bring you along. Yeah. Even if it's not the most exciting video we've ever made. Yeah, it's not hot air balloons in Cappadocia. No, but we know that life isn't always hot air balloons in Cappadocia, so it would be wrong for us to only show you that and not show you this day to day as well. So we're trying to get better. I wish it was hot air balloons. <laughs> Every day, yeah. Be a bit cloudy today, yeah. We could move uh -huh. there. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> So the reason we've been back in an office, if you didn't see the last video when we were in Serbia and we did a working day in the life, uh, my dad is a financial advisor. He owns his own practice here in Yorkshire and his PA and assistant basically handed in her notice a month ago. So she has just left us, which is very sad. We will miss her, but um, it did mean that he had no support in the office. Obviously I normally do the market and operations remotely. So we have come back, I'm being daughter of the year, and coming back to support him in the interim until we get someone new into that role and yeah, help him recruit. We think we might have found someone, which means that the prospect of us going away again is looking a little bit more likely. Yeah! <laughs> We're very happy about it. Although my mum and dad do keep trying to convince us to stay for longer. Oh, what about if you just stay till mid-September or mid-October or, you know, stay till Christmas and as much as we love them we also love our nomadic lifestyle so we're very keen to get back on the road yeah it's when they make those jokes of like oh yeah but you know you could just stay a little bit for your birthday and we're like yeah but we want our birthday to be in the sunshine <laughs> <laughs> so that is the reason we're back but yes hopefully the prospect of going away again is coming up Ooh. and for me i've just taken to desk hopping in Courtney's office, which is great. I've got a proper desk and a big screen and a nice chair that's comfortable. Um, and it just means as well that it's a bit easier for me to work with the agency I'm working with at the moment, who are in Leeds. Um, I've been at the office a couple of times, which is nice. I've actually seen my boss in person. Um, so he knows I'm actually real and not just some weird hologram who travels the world. So it's really, trying to look at the positives it's really nice to have some form of routine and the uh what's the word the comforts of modern life which is it's good good such a great describing word that so I think the reason why we're finding it, you know, exciting and novelty, being at a desk and everything, is because we know it's temporary. So it's also made us realise that the decisions we made three years ago to move into the van was definitely the right thing for us. Oh. Plant there. I'm so grateful. We're so lucky that this is right on our doorstep and we've not in this whole month that we've been here we've been for one walk which is terrible but the weather is starting to get nicer now being the end of june and this is just gorgeous it's so green and the dales or the moors or whatever are just absolutely stunning so we really need to make it a priority to enjoy it whilst we're here
And one of the things we're actually really excited about being back in the UK, we've got a new bed again <laughs> and again. Third time lucky? Third time lucky. Um, not that anything terribly wrong with this one, it's just um, Courtney's a soft soul <laughs> and she needs a comfy bed to sleep on in the evening to get her 10 hours of sleep. So later on we're going to hopefully go and pick that up and try it out. Maybe not. Video, <laughs> try it out. See how comfy it is. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 nice little bench rock. Just little rest. Little rest. A little unfit, aren't we? <laughs> We've only been walking for 20 minutes. <laughs> But that is one benefit of being back in the UK, is getting into a little bit more of a routine. You've been going to the gym. I have, yeah. I have not. Twice this week already. <laughs> I really need to, but yeah, I just haven't mustered up the courage or the energy to go yet. We'll get you swimming. Yeah, I'm going to go to the leisure centre, I think. Me and all the like 60, 70 year olds in the wide lanes. Aquarobic. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, we honestly don't have much interesting to update you on. I guess the most exciting thing is the prospect of when we'll be going away, when the adventures will begin again. Oh yeah. And we're hoping it will be in September. So it's the end of June now. So back for another couple of months and then we'll be going away in September. We don't know where yet. I think there is a plan brewing mm. subject to change. Yes. Um, of us heading straight through Schengen to Croatia, Montenegro and Albania mm -hmm. and spending three months there over the sort of the end Autumn. of the year. Yeah. And then when we've done three there, get a ferry from Albania to Italy, then a ferry from Italy to Spain and then spend basically three months in Spain and Portugal. For the winter. Yeah. Because obviously, as you know, we went all the way to Turkey for a nice winter bit of sun last year and that did not turn out as planned. And all the pictures of everyone who was in Spain yeah. were having bright sunshine. So we're going to give that, that a go yeah. <laughs> instead. Yeah, we've, then, got to, we've got to find it somewhere when we this winter sun. Absolutely. And we don't know how long that trip will be yet, but we just want to get back on the road. And start seeing things yeah. and adventuring again. Excited for Portugal as well. Mm -hmm. um, go and see those weirdos or... The Wildlanders. Sorry, the Wildlanders. They're not those weirdos yeah. anymore. Yeah, and anyone else that's out in Europe at that time, we'd love mm. to meet up because that was a good part of Turkey, wasn't it? Yeah. Just meeting everyone and rocking up at random park ups and getting to know people from all over the world. So yeah. we are going to look forward to that again. Mm. But we've still got two months in the UK first. Yeah, and in the meantime, we're like just going to keep working, but also try and see as many people as possible. Because we only ever come back for sort of three month chunk, we try and fit everyone that we know into a three month period. And we can obviously only do weekends because everyone else works during the week. <laughs> we only work part time. So um, yeah, that only gives us what? Four, eight, twelve weekends to see everyone that we know, which is not. We're quite booked up at the moment, aren't we? We are, we're very yeah. in demand. Um, but we're looking forward to catching up with yeah. friends and family and spending some quality time. Yeah. Enjoying the the English summer? If that is a thing? I mean, it's warm enough now to call it summer, I would say, but. Yeah, it is about 20 degrees today, which is quite nice. For it England. is meant to rain for the rest of the week <laughs> and next week as well, so. <laughs> Typical. Brilliant. <sighs> But yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. I think we're going to make our way back up the hill <laughs> towards the farm and yeah, show you a bit more detail of where we've been parking and how much it costs and all that jazz. See you back at the farm. <sighs> Gorgeous. It's like a painting down there. Even if it is a little bit hazy today, it's just lush to get out in nature. We were just saying that actually since we've been back, the only time we've sat in nature and listened to birds is when we're in a pub garden. That just shows you what British life is like, doesn't it? Our culture is just drink, drink, drink. So this has been very refreshing. Welcome to our humble abode. We have very reasonable rents here. We're paying 200 pound a month, cash in hand. Uh, where we have access to water in this lovely big 
barn over here. We have views to die for. <laughs> I mean, look, if you need any stone, gravel, wood, marble, <laughs> slates, whatever it is, right outside our doorstep. <laughs> but we have some lovely neighbors. They're usually very furry and bye. Woolly? Woolly. <laughs> They're usually very woolly. And you know what, for what it is, pretty happy with it. It allows us to do what we've just done, even though it's the first time we've done it, any day that we want, really. So... Pretty flat as well, well very flat, which is yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, there's also electricity in the barn, isn't there, if we need it, but we don't. We've got all the solar in the world. And the views. Even though it's hazy today, they're normally pretty beautiful. Yeah, looking out over the valley. Not many people can say they've got that on their doorstep, I guess, can they? No, very so, true. We're very fortunate to have found this lovely little place. Ugh. Fantastic. Coffee, please. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Thank you. And breakfast. I was just going to say, do you want breakfast like right now or you want coffee first? What do you think? Um, I wouldn't mind having my coffee first. Oh yeah, I would love that too. <laughs> just because then I can sit and enjoy it rather than drinking it whilst I eat. I guess that's fair. Yeah. Whilst Courtney is making a lovely cup of coffee for us, I thought I'd just give you an update on the van because she's been away for a while and paint job that we got done in Turkey. Beautiful, I think. You can see you can see the difference between the two cut coats there. Turkey job, original job. Nice and thick, doing well. And we do need to get our MOT'd though because that's due in August. We're also pretty confident we're gonna need full brakes all the way around and maybe even new discs. And we also want to look at the injectors because I guess Turkey doesn't have the best quality of fuel the further east you go. And we obviously use a lot of that. So we just want to make sure that we haven't done any damage or they don't need to clean or something like that because we're ideally going to go away and do another 10,000 miles in the next however many months. So yeah, is there anything else that we need to worry about in the van? Um, I think we'll get the DPF filter checked again. Uh, the Yeah, diesel particulate filter. That needed a clean out when we were in Turkey and we noticed a power increase after they did that, but I've got to say it's probably back to how it was. So I think it gets she's an old girl, so she gets clogged up yeah, quite quick. I think that's quite common, um, but the garage will be able to do that. So we're not too worried about her touch. Touch wood. <laughs> so we're happy with her. We're very happy with her. She's our little girl. Oh. Apart from the bed situation, obviously, yeah, we're going to change later, but let me show them what I'm currently sleeping on. So you know how in Turkey we obviously had new foam put in. We were just sleeping on the cushions that were on our seats here in the dinette. Um, well, we had it changed to foam with ply board underneath so that we couldn't feel the slats, but it's rock solid. So I've been sleeping on both together <laughs> like this. So obviously this is our... Can you hear that? I mean a mattress is not meant to feel like that. It's very hard. We'll keep those pieces but then you know, I've been sleeping on our cushions as well. I <laughs> like the princess and the pea and uh, we're gonna get this changed today. Right well we've had a little bit of lunch, brunch and a coffee and we're now in going into town to just kind of mooch, run a few errands, maybe pick up some vintage baskets, hopefully for an upgrade that we want to make in the back. And just enjoy a slow Friday. So we thought we'd bring you along with us, because why not? one thing about the UK, so much veggie options. <laughs> this is like, one. we had a list didn't we on our, um, on our phones of like, what can we have when we're back in the UK? <laughs> Picnic eggs were definitely on there. 
I tell you what guys, we are really noticing the price difference of things here now. We go around the supermarket and we're like, <gasps> how much? Nine pound for like seven beers or something? I'm like, no way, I'm not doing it. Or like two pound for a pack of chocolate bars. Like, no, I'm just not doing it. I'm not, I'm not comfortable, but it's what it is. It's only temporary, but I'm sure you guys are all feeling the same strain. We're just, I think it's, accentuated because of how cheap turkey was now this feels like extortionate you know what's good to know though is that being in a town center being in a built-up area constantly it hasn't changed who we are deep down Absolutely not. we're still croc people <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you might say we have no shame and you would probably be right it feels really weird being in life again, like with everyone else, all shopping and trying to get the best deals and spending 20 quid on like, like bits. Yeah. Like, I know, I know we're privileged that we've come from Turkey where it was, I mean, you could, you'd struggle to spend 20 quid and I just don't like it. Like money's for spending on experiences, not for spending on toilet paper. And it's the annoying thing that like in the UK they try and, I don't know, catch you out. So like a big bottle of cold brew coffee oh. was £1.90 but the mini versions were £1.90 each. And you're like, but they're on different aisles and it's like, it's sneaky here. We don't like it. Bas Marketing. What you're saying is we're basically like um, communist hippies that want yeah. everything to be cheap and yeah. we don't like capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go find you a basket, shall we? Yeah, baskets. I love this shop. It's like a little, I don't know, underground vintage cave full of goodies. When I mean, we don't need any of this, I'm really just looking for baskets or a fruit bowl, but we can have a look whilst we're here. Oh, we can hear our crocs making this. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the baskets we had in mind. What do you reckon? This little chicken basket? Basically just want something to sit on the worktop that we can velcro down, that we can put all of our fruit and stuff in. So in the minute it goes in the drawer and then we don't, don't get it. tempted by it. Whereas if it's on display, I think he's quite cute. Needs a name though. He does. He's got a little orangey tinge on this side also. Only four quid. Oh, is it four quid? Four pound. Oh yeah, I thought it was 14. Yeah, I get to get it. <laughs> Even for a future house, if it doesn't work in the van, I think that's pretty cute, right? Yeah. Cluckles. Cluckles. We'll work on the name. Oh, Uncle Cluckers. I love it. Thank you oh, very thank much. You much so thank you. Thank you. Is that that for you? I love oh, it, yeah, yeah it's great. We're going to use it as a little fruit ball in the camper van. I think it's going to look very cute. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye. So we're currently going with the name Uncle Clucker. <laughs> but if you can think of a better one for our chicken basket, drop in the comments below. So why did we go to the range? Well, we went to go and find baskets, obviously. Still unsuccessful, our search continues. But I did come out with two of the most random items you could buy in one transaction. Chocolate bars and a shiwi. Does that say anything about my life? I don't know, but <laughs> I'm happy with both purchases. Right. Let's get this old bad boy out, eh? Yeah. So we have made it to my mum and dad's driveway. We are going to put our old mattress stuff in their garage. We haven't told them yet, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Along with all the other stuff we've got stored in there. And then get our new mattress, which has been airing for 24 hours inside the house. So we are very, very excited. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. I hope. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah! Oh my god, it's like a proper mattress, look! Can I see the doors closed? It's, which end does your head go? This that, is that oh, end. So, that's right. so your feet would be down by yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, see if the doors close if we measured correctly. Yes! Oh, loads. You can push it back a bit. Yeah, see. that's... I'll come in. Oh my goodness. Is it fit okay? And we ordered it from Custom Size Beds. 
Oh, 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 oh my God, it's heavenly. Princess and the Pea, is this gonna be better for you? Oh, uh, yeah. We've got oh a really big bed, haven't we? God, it's so comfortable. And there we have the finished product. Look how thick that is. Oh my God. See you at bedtime. Oh my God, guys. I have just woken up from the best sleep ever. And I cannot tell you how much you need to prioritize having a good mattress if you're building a van or a tiny home or something like that, because, oh my God, that has caused us so many issues for so many years now, having various different cushions and different types of foam but really you just need a proper mattress so yeah yesterday after we made the bed we kind of just went inside chilled with my parents had a few drinks and made some dinner and then went to bed at about 1am so if you can hear the croak in my voice that's because we were up chatting very late probably had too many drinks but we're feeling good we're gonna have a chilled day today I think and I think we'll leave this update here. It's been a bit of a random one, I know, but we just wanted to be able to put something out and share with you guys where we're at, what we're doing, and hopefully we'll have something exciting to share soon. Maybe another adventure, maybe a weekend trip somewhere. Who knows? But we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for sticking around.